Hello everyone and thank you for joining me today. I am coming to you from the Sumter Mall in Sumter, South Carolina. Right off the bat, want to let you know that this was filmed the week before Christmas. So we're going to see some really cool Christmas decorations. I always love seeing that and also want to give a big shout out to the Hull Property Group who manages this property. You guys really know how to take care of your malls. Now, I just did a video uh, maybe about two weeks ago in the uh, Prince of Orange Mall in Orangeburg, South Carolina, and this is a very similar mall. So we've got a lot of carpet, but everything is really, really clean, very well organized. And in this video, what I want to do is I really want to pose the question to everybody that's watching and, and please join me in the comments. Is this the dead mall that we need today? And what I mean by that is this. Yes, there are many locations in the mall that do not have stores. But is this mall truly providing what the community actually needs? You've got a lot of great clothing stores. You've got jewelry stores, you've got your Bath and Body Works, you've got several food locations, including our wonderful Chick-fil-A. So that's really what I wanna focus on here. You know, certainly feel free to look around. You know, uh, the whole property group does a really good job, again, of showing pictures of the community and making the inside of the mall look really great. But if this mall was smaller and we just had the stores that are currently in it, Maybe that's what this community needs. Maybe the mall was built too big way back in the day. Now, Sumter is a little bit of a smaller city. It's out near Columbia, South Carolina. It's actually just east of Columbia by about an hour. But again, what does the community actually need? Do they need high-end retail? You know, do they need multiple anchors? I really feel the answer is no. Walking into this mall and walking up to this mall, one, it was a really great experience. Yeah, sure, again, I don't like the carpet and most of us in the dead mall community, we're not big fans of carpet, but guys, look at the Santa display. Nice trees, nice lighting. Santa's actually here today taking pictures with the kids, which is awesome. The center court area looks really great. Now off to the right side here, you'll see some more food choices and we'll see some of those on the way back when we first walked in, we passed our Chick-fil-A and I grabbed me a milkshake at Chick-fil-A, by the way, on the way out, really great milkshakes. But there we go, we got our K Jewelers, you know, and we're about to see a little bit further down at the end of the mall, a Belk. And what I'm doing right now is I've actually got another screen open on one of my other computers and I'm taking a look at the stores that are in the mall. So I'm not just looking at the video. We've got a books a million. You know, we've got our GNC, we've got our lens crafters. Again, we have our jewelers. We've got that pretzel maker, we've got several shoe locations, and also one of the really nice things is that we do have a Roses, so another variety department store, and also there is a place here that I believe is an outsourced contact center, so maybe a call center that's called Sykes Enterprises. Now that also takes up one of the previous anchor locations. So this is great. You know, tell me in the comments, what else would you want? for your mall here. Imagine that the empty spaces are gone. Imagine that the, this mall's just a little bit smaller. This truly might be the right dead mall. And again, that's the question that I wanna to pose to everybody today. So let's go ahead and change gears here and let's take a look at what we've got as we're about to spin back around on our way out of the mall. So we've got the Lux Spa, we've got a really nice Belk location. Again, pictures of the community and activities, locations up on the walls. Really cool that the whole property group does that. Now, there's one of the side entrances and exits to the mall. We've got our Boost Mobile that's coming up. We also have our Rainbow that's coming up. We've got our kids foot locker. I believe they've got a regular foot locker. I don't see any stains on the ceiling. I don't see any mold. So this is a great experience. And 
Not too busy right now, even though this is the week of Christmas. I was expecting to be a little bit busier. I believe this was around one o'clock in the afternoon, but you know what? There's foot traffic, the parking lot was busy. Definitely good news for this mall. We've got our snipes off to the left side there. We're about to see our K Jewelers again. And I believe in the video here, I'm gonna to turn to the right side a little bit and then we're gonna see Sykes Enterprises where the folks can come in and out of their workplace there. So a really great way for folks that are working during their lunch, during their break, to come into the mall and either, oh, there's our roses actually. So uh, shout out Dan Bell and also to Rick Serra. Uh, I remember all of the great videos that you guys used to do at the roses locations and uh, Rick would make a lot of jokes. So good times, right? So, all right, now as we start to move forward, we're gonna see May Jewelers, so not just K Jewelers. Uh, every miss begins with M, so May Jewelers. Uh, and then uh, we see King Walk, off to the left side there in the uh, side little food court. We've got several trees like I mentioned before. They did a really nice display. Santa was hanging out waiting for the next kid to come along for pictures. Really nice. Great place. Really great place. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and move forward a little bit more. And I see we've got our Claire's. We've got our Great American Cookie. Where's my man Sleeve? Gotta love those cookies, right, Sleeve? A big cake cookie. We've got our pretzel maker, like I mentioned a few moments ago. And I believe this is the corridor off to the right side here where Sykes Enterprises is located. Yep, there we see our Sykes. And I was a little bit fast walking through this mall since I did this video in the early afternoon. I really didn't want folks to uh, notice my little camera, even though it is smaller. I was a little bit concerned with that since there were so many folks in the mall. So we've got a children's place. We've got a T-Mobile. There's that BAM, guys. Now that Books A Million location, to me, looked like it might have been a former Walden Books or a former B. Dalton. So if anybody does know, uh, please put that in the comment box because it's a smaller inline. Uh, there is not a cafe at this Books A Million. We've got our Rue 21. I see off to the left side there, we've got our Lens Crafters. I think we've got a local, let's see here, oh, la Ladies Boutique, Foxy Ladies Boutique. <laughs> There's our GNC, right? Another shout out, Dan Bell. All the malls gotta have the GNC. We see Classic, local clothing retailer, and then also at the end, uh, you will see the uh, Armed Forces Recruitment Center. Now, the wall that is to the left of the Armed Forces Recruitment Center, that is where there was a previous uh, uh, anchor spot. So if anybody does know what that anchor was, please let me know in the comments. So we're about to start walking past Chick-fil-A and past Lens Crafters here. And we're about to leave the mall. So definitely, please join me for my upcoming videos. I have a few more here to close out 2022. I hope that you did enjoy the walkthrough here at the Sumter Mall. Always going to ask you if you could please subscribe, please ring that bell for the notifications, give me a thumbs up, share the video, and also please leave a comment. Thank you very much for joining me today at the Sumter Mall in Sumter, South Carolina. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.